Welcome to The Sea Show. Discover the wonders of the sea through thought-provoking, eye-catching artworks created by artists from around the world. Get ready to set sail and explore the sea. Before travelling out to sea, a seasoned captain will pick a good vessel to sail in and a good port to set sail from. Singapore is connected to over 600 ports in over 120 nations, making it the hub of a global sea trade network in Asia. Every two to three minutes, a ship arrives or leaves Singapore, and at any one time, there are about 1,000 vessels in the Singapore port. Take a look overboard. The ocean is filthy. Take a few minutes to reflect on how this view makes you feel. Today, there is no place on earth immune to plastic pollution. Most of the trash and debris that cover our beaches come from storm drains, sewers, shorelines, activities such as picnicking and abandoned or discarded fishing gear. Over here, we have a wall of fame. In the past, a lot of seafarers set out on a voyage to explore the world on the other side. Look for the clues to work out who are these great ocean explorers. Today, there are many jobs to be found in the maritime industry. Just take a look at this busy port. Can you work out what these people do? Welcome to the Sea of Ships by Pathlight School's Artist Development Program. Look at all these seaworthy vessels. Climate change has caused sea levels to rise, impacting many cities and their people. Jakarta is one of the fastest sinking cities in the world, sinking as fast as 10 centimeters per year. Ships could be the cars of the future if we aren't too careful. Just under the water's surface, what are these critters we see? Canadian artist Felipe Medina created this animation depicting plastic packaging as fish. Did you know plastic makes up 80% of all marine debris? Did you know sea turtles play a vital role in the balance of the marine ecosystem and are one of the world's most endangered animals facing extinction? Thousands of sea turtles and other marine mammals are killed each year after ingesting plastic as the scent of floating plastic can be mistaken for food. Can you think of one thing that you can do as an individual to help prevent this? We are out at sea and the wind is ferocious. A storm is brewing across the horizon. Close your eyes. What can you hear? What do you think long voyages across the oceans are like?
Over there, over yonder. What a peculiar vessel. This animation shows what a boat in the future may look like. This boat uses natural sources of energy such as wind and wave currents to clean up the ocean. What other features do you think a boat in the future would have? Let's dive deeper into the unexplored depths of the ocean. It is said that humans have only managed to explore about 5% of the ocean floor. The remaining 95% of the ocean still remains a mystery. What other sea creatures do you think are yet to be discovered? We are now at the bottom of the ocean. Is there something unusual amongst the coral? Can you find 12 things that don't belong in the sea? While the ocean is a beautiful place, it can also be dangerous to cross. Sailors face many dangers when, when out at sea, making them believe in countless superstitions about safety and luck when they sail. Have you heard of any of them? Look out, a shark! While we think of them as strong and fierce, many sharks actually do not have any bones. Instead, they are made up of cartilage, the same tissues that make your ears. They also have two types of muscles, red and white. Phew, it is unexpectedly hot so deep down in the ocean. All this heat is because of these underwater volcanoes. Did you know that although the water is superheated, some species of crabs, shrimps and lobsters live around these volcanic vents?
Speaking about heat, the ocean is warming up faster than any region on Earth. The melting ice caps are even releasing viruses that have been frozen for thousands of years. Rising temperatures are causing insects to breed and carry diseases. Can you help find all 19 penguins? Did you spot a yellow bird in the water? Alas, it is not a bird, but a toy. In 1992, a shipping container filled with bath toys was lost in the Pacific Ocean. Some of the yellow ducks are still being washed ashore today. Let's grab a bite at the White Shark Cafe. The White Shark Cafe got its name in 2002 when scientists discovered an area in a remote part of the Pacific Ocean where great white sharks migrate to in the winter. There's way too much trash being thrown into the ocean. Can you believe that amount will increase every year? What are some ways that we can reduce waste? Wait a second, that's not a fish, it's a bunch of plastic trash. If nothing is done to reduce plastic waste, ocean plastic will soon outweigh all of the ocean's fish. Due to activities on Earth such as driving and pollution emitted from factories, the ocean is warming up and becoming more acidic. Is that an island? No. It's the Nok Nevis, the largest ship in the world. The Nok Nevis is as long as a school. Can you imagine going to a school on a ship that's out at sea? Did you know there are people who spend most of their lives at sea? Here are some of their habitats. Do you prefer living on land or out at sea? Did you know that the Statue of Liberty was initially supposed to be a lighthouse? What do you think lighthouses are used for? to serve as a navigational aid and to warn seafarers of dangerous areas. Though vessels of today rely on new navigation technology, there are still lighthouses that shine as navigational aids. Did you know that there is a lighthouse that sits atop a residential building in Singapore? What is the colourful scene down under the water? Oh, it's a beautiful coral reef. Coral reefs are one of the most biologically diverse and valuable ecosystems on Earth. Can you believe that 94% of the living species on Earth are aquatic? This means that there are many unique sea creatures residing underwater. Did you know that coral reefs are animals, not plants? They cover less than 1% of the ocean but are home to almost 25% of all known marine species. 
Can you name a marine animal that lives in the coral reef? There are many human wreckages that have sunk deep into the sea. Submerged ships are the most common form of artificial reefs. Artificial reefs are commonly used by marine conservationists to restore coral reefs in oceans. Oh no! This octopus is trapped by trash. Sea animals are being harmed by the rubbish that is thrown into the ocean, which threatens their lives and their homes. Thank you for coming aboard the Sea Show Tour. Don't forget to keep the treasures you found about the ocean and we'll see you again soon.